Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin, and it's time for another pocket dump deconstruction. Five minutes ago, I took this photograph, posted it to Instagram. My Instagram is at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this channel. And then I turned my iPhone 6 Plus to video, and now we're doing the deconstruction of that pocket dump where we get to caress these knives and also talk about the knife that got away. The one I've been playing with all morning, but I'm not going to carry. So let's get started. Every single day, every single day, seven days a week, I always celebrate with a great cigar at the end of the day. I'm at that age, middle age, where you really need to do that. Celebrate the moments. Even on a bad day, this makes it better. If it's a great day, this makes it even more wonderful. This one is a very special Cohiba. Cohiba is a special brand anyway from Cuba. Nice, strong, a lot of flavors. This is the really limited uh, 2014 uh, Cohiba Ugh, that's special. Um, I always, obviously, wear a watch. This instance, I have about a five or six watch rotation out of my collection. This is the tag. I love tag watches. I call it the Sabenza of the watches because it's just so well made. Nice, sturdy man watch. And especially just the plain gray um, chronograph that's just wonderful, sturdy. And what makes it beautiful like a Sabenza is really the engineering. So that's my tag. Um, I have a real thin, I like thin wallets, so I have a real thin Mont Blanc wallet. I have a real loud field guides <laughs> in orange. Uh, I have a meeting today and frankly I picked the orange uh, because instead of being all buttoned up you pull out an orange pad and everyone goes whoa. Uh, it says a lot about you plus it helps keep me awake during these long boring meetings. Um, today it's all about scotch along with my Cohiba at the end of the day, at the end folks of the day. <laughs> now, oh, oh, the coin. I always carry a silver coin, just like my grandfather for luck. Of course, his silver coin, he could actually spend his silver dollar. I can't. Um, but this is a real classic, um, Chinese panda coin, one ounce Chinese panda coin. That's what I'm I'm carrying today for luck. And now, let's play with some knives. Um, <laughs> my keychain knife is a very special keychain knife. Um, it is the Spydeco Copa. This is called Giraffe Bone um, Scales. The Copa was Spydeco's intention to create a collection series really it was a, a series of gentlemen folders and what they did was they set out to to create 17 different knives just like this all g10 um not g10 all vg10 steel um the same look and feel that strong back lock but every single scale, every handle is different. This is the giraffe bone. There are actually 17 different. Some of them are wood. Uh, there's a carbon fiber one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different materials, all with that great clip. You can clip it, you can slip it in a pocket. For me, I put it on a keychain. Um, so when you pull out the keychain, they see this wonderful knife. Um, they, they actually doled them out. I, I want to say I, I wasn't collecting when these came out. I want to say every year or so they would release two or three of them until it ended with the last one, 17 of them. I'm lucky enough, oh, lucky after hunting and scratching to have 16 of the 17. At some point I'll do a Spydeco Copa collection of all those materials they are a sight to see i will do a knife collection copa is one of my many collections and uh post it here on the youtube channel so 
hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the Copa collection. It's something to see. I'm missing one. <sighs> oh, <sighs> I, I'm frustrated that I'm missing the one that I'm missing. But anyway, hopefully I'll find that at some point. It's taken me a couple of years to come up with 16 out of 17, and I'm really happy about it. That's the keychain knife, a real special keychain knife. This is called the Little Spy. Uh, no, what is it called? It's called, yeah, the Little Lion Spy is what it called. Little, L-I-L. Um, that's just not my pronunciation. Little Spy. It is Spyderco. What Spyderco does a lot is when they have a popular knife, they make the smaller version a little easier to carry. This is Spyderco's original collaboration with Lion uh, Steel. Have you ever seen a Lion Steel um, knife? It looks exactly like this if you took off the Spidey hole. Take off the Spidey hole. It has textured G10. Sometimes it's textured titanium on the show side. And then it has a titanium lock just like this does on the lock side. It's their special lock. Well, they a couple of things about um, their lock. Their lock is obviously a frame lock. And... Uh, they have a wonderful backstop for the frame lock, so you can't extend it. But you can also, this is theirs, it's their creation. You can also turn this and actually lock in place the lock. So once the, the lock is engaged, you can turn this and you wouldn't be able to move the lock at all. So it just gives you a little bit more strength. This is a strong enough lock for most of us. Um, again, Lion Steel, it's bigger the original it looks just like this with this wonderful texture g10 there's that lion steel pivot they did a great job i don't own a lion steel blade but whenever i see them i go man that's the lion spot <laughs> I mean, it really is without the spidey hole um it's they're wonderful makers uh spydeco copied their clip usually the lion steel clip has a glass breaker uh, Spyderco did not do that, but they do have this wonderful clip um, that, that looks exactly like the Lion Steel clip. The back is textured tie, all titanium. Um, you can replace, I love on the lock too, they put the steel uh, insert because, you know, steel on titanium, it starts to wear and your your uh, lock starts to travel. So here they have a steel insert. You can replace that steel insert. That's the screws there. It's just a wonderful construction, a nice beefy knife. Um, one way of keeping the weight down, and actually, again, it's a smaller knife, um, but there are no liners. So that G10 is, is by itself, but it's so strong. And then of course you have the tie frame lock. That nice deep carry, small um, pocket clip is just unbelievable. This is a wonderful knife. The bigger one um, is bigger. This is about, ah, man, I didn't, it's about a three inch blade. The other one is a lot bigger. It looks exactly like this. This is the little Lion Spy. Uh, the blade is L Max steel. Um, you know, it's an, I, I want to say it's an Italian company, a knife company, but it's Elmac Steel, um, great steel. Uh, I, I have a lot of Elmac Steel on uh, a lot of my uh, Microtechs. All of my Microtechs actually have Elmac Steel. It's great steel, wonderful knife, great jimping. I like that Spyderco hole because it comes up and just aids you in working it. This is the Lion Spy, the Lita Lion Spy from Spyderco, the collaboration with Lion Steel. Oh man, what a wonderful knife. I was so excited last year when they said they were going to come out with a smaller version. Um, and so that's in my pocket today. And then I hadn't carried an Insingo in a while and I really wanted to carry an Insingo. And I'll be honest with you, I really wanted to, to do a Copa as my key chain, key chain knife because of the kind of meeting I'm in and I, I pull out my knife, you know, you know, I pull out my keys and I'll go, woo, 
Ooh, uh, the keychain knife is one that doesn't intimidate anyone. People see it all through the day, but can also do some work. Then I was going through and I, I was in my Spydeco cases, uh, my Pelican, my um, Pelican cases. And I came across the lion spy and the little lion spy and I was like, ooh, I really want that. And so then I backed into <laughs> going into my Chris Reeve case and I said, man, I haven't done an Encingo. Uh, um, yeah, I haven't done an Encingo blade in a while. I actually, I'll talk about the blade that got away. The one that I really wanted to carry because these two are a little bit heavier than uh, my regular medium carry and a little bit heavier on my ring. I changed uh, in singles, Chris Reeve in singles to the carbon fiber in single. Yes, it looks beautiful. These are the exclusive uh, knife art, Chris Reeve carbon fiber um, sabenzas um, with all of the great Chris Reeve additions, but also uh, this light, it's so light because of carbon fiber and I wanted something light. I wanted a Chris Reeve knife and I wanted that in single blade. So we end up with the carbon fiber. Oh man, isn't that beautiful? Chris Reeve in single blade. In single means razor in Zulu. Uh, Chris Reeve is South African. And so that, that is the native language of South Africa. And so, and it is like a razor. That shape really allows you to do a lot of great work. Um, so there you go. That is the carbon fiber Chris Reeve. Oh man. Um, Sabenza. I'm working on a carbon fiber Chris Reeve uh, mini collection because we have this. We have the other, um, uh, the Blade, Blade HQ exclusives as well, a different kind of carbon fiber Chris Reeve knife. So I'm working on that as well. So uh, I'll let you know when that's up on the YouTube channel. So that's it. That's the YouTube. Let me get all of this. It deserves to get into the frame. That's it. That's my carry. That's those are the items that I took a picture on for Instagram, but guess what? This ain't Instagram. This is the Keith Kevin Ken <laughs> channel on YouTube. This is the knife that got away. Remember I told you I wanted the in single blade. I wanted a Chris Reeve. I love plain Jane Chris Reeves. Yes, I am going to have a mini collection on all of my plain Jane Chris Reeves knives up in a few weeks. But this was the plain Jane and single. This is the one that I wanted to carry. It is just heavier than that because that just has a slab of carbon fiber. This, of course, has a slab of titanium. And so it's just a little heavier. And since I wanted to carry those two, I wanted a lighter one. And the reason I really stopped at this blade is I hadn't carried. First, I hadn't carried it in single. And for some reason, with all the fancy smancy Chris Reeve knives in my collection and all of the ones that I carry and I play with, sometimes I ignore this in single plain Jane. I will even do my regular plain Jane. I have a classic plain Jane. For some reason, when I reach for a plain Jane, I skip this one. I even go to my Tanto plain Jane. So I really wanted to carry this. Of course, as I've said in the past, the one that got away stays on my desk, at least for the day. And uh, while I'm drinking and smoking a cigar, I'm playing with it. Smooth as butter, smooth as butter, smooth as butter, 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 butter. It's just wonderful knives. This is the kind of knives that when I take them out of my pocket, I'm going to play with tonight because I really love this carry. So that's it. That's today's pocket dump deconstruction by the way every single day right here on the keith kevin ken youtube channel we will have a po pocket dump deconstruction we take the picture from the instagram instagram at keith kevin ken and do that i just uh posted as i record this in february 2016 i just posted 
uh, my collection of Spyderco flippers, all the flippers that they've created, so look for that. I have a lot of uh, mini collections already up, a lot of them to come. So you do want to subscribe, become a part of our community so we can play with our knives. This is not a review series, it is not a review series, it is a let's have fun series. This is Keith Kevin Ken. thank you very much for giving me all of your precious time. I really appreciate it, I do. Uh, have a perfect day. Keep those pockets 